Hey guys, uh, so I wanted to just give you a quick hair update. Things have been going really well. Um, as you can see, my hair is in really good, good shape. I'm excited about the steps that I've taken. As I mentioned, um, if you've been following my blog and also my YouTube channel, then you know I recently went natural on the air. Normally, I wear wigs to work every day for the last, I don't know, over... 10 years i think it's been 10 years so i finally got to a point where i just wanted to give my hair some much needed room to breathe um don't get me wrong wigs are great for protective styling i mean i've been wearing wigs for so long and then what i do is on the weekends i would kind of let you know the kinks and curls kind of run free um, as you can see, I'm touching my hair a lot now, but I normally don't. So I just wanted to share real, real quick, just my routine. Um, again, this is meant to be a quick hair update, so I won't go into an in-depth, elongated version of it. But I just find what's been working well for me is the fact that since I work five days a week, each night, I find myself like just rebraiding or retwisting my hair. Uh, I don't do it tight, um, and this is like right now, I don't know, four day hair or something. I find the key to keeping my hair moisturized is making sure I kind of re-wet it throughout the week. So what I do is I get a bottle of water, and I usually try to do like distilled or like purified water, and I've been really getting into testing the pH levels of what I use in my hair. But as you know, water is right in the middle, it's at seven. I mix it with just a few drops of essential oils and I mix that together and I add in a little aloe um, and that really helps keep my hair really nice and moisturized and fresh and it smells good too. Uh, so I usually try to stick with essential oils like lavender, I know rosemary, rosemary is really good. Um, Geranium is another one. A clary sage is also another one that I like to use. And I feel that it's made a world of a difference because the first day that I went on air, I was just still trying to figure it out. But on the second and third day, I finally got to a point where I was like, okay, I think I got the hang of this. And it's been working well. So if you notice, um, you know, the shaping is pretty good. Uh, every night when I go to retwist or rebraid or whatever it is that I do, I find that there are times when I still have that single strand knot to have to comb through or work through. And of course I use my fingers, my fingertips first. And if the la last resort is like taking scissors, but it's to be expected. I mean, that's what 4C hair does. It kind of wraps and tangles around each other. So but I'm happy with the results. And again, thank you so much for the support. And I plan on just, you know, sharing what I know, maybe sharing some tutorials that'll probably help you as well. Um, and getting into some of the science of it all, because I feel that natural hair is a science and I'm still trying to figure it out, but I've made some strides and I found what works specifically with my hair texture. So that's where I'm at and um, thank you again for everything and for rocking with me and um, please share your hair stories and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right guys, thanks. Bye.